Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the first question from CIE IGCSE 058042, extended paper from October November 2024. Now, this question is from numbers topic. Anvi buys a new car. The price of the car is $28,240. She is given a 7.5% discount. Calculate the amount she pays. So, let us try to understand the question first. Anvi is going to buy a car and the original price of the car is $28,240. Now she has been given 7.5% discount on this total amount. So we have to find out how much amount she is going to pay after the discount. So let us make a relationship of the given data now. So here we have written the total amount minus 7.5% discount off of total amount will be payable by her. So it becomes 28,240 minus 7.5% of the original amount is 28,240. So let us see what value we get here. So this is going to give us the value as $26,122. So that is going to be the amount paid by Anvi after 7.5% discount on the original amount. Now moving on to the next question. The fuel tank in the new car has a capacity of 45 liters. This is 72% of the capacity of the fuel tank in her old car. Calculate the capacity of the fuel in her old car. So let us make a relationship now. Now according to the question, it's given that when Anvi buys the new car, it has a capacity of 45 liters and this new car's fuel tank capacity is 72% of the capacity of her old car's fuel tank. So here we have made the relationship. Total capacity of fuel tank in new car is 72% of total capacity of fuel tank in old car. Now we do not know what is the capacity of the old car, but it is given that the total capacity of new car is 45 liters. So we are going to write here 45 liters is equal to 72% off becomes multiplication. Total capacity of fuel tank in old car I have considered as A as we do not know it. Now simplifying it further, 45 remains the same on the left hand side is equal to 72% becomes 72 over 100 which gives us 0.72 times A. Now since we have to find out A, let us take 0.72 on the other side of equal to sign. So we get A is equal to 45 divided by 0.72. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 62.5 liters. So this was the capacity of the fuel tank in the old car. Moving on to the next question. Adi buys a new car costing $28,000. He pays for the car using a finance plan. The finance plan is a deposit, 47 equal monthly payments of $330 and a final payment of $11,490. Using this finance plan, Adi pays a total of $31,900 for the car. Calculate the deposit paid as a percentage of $28,000. Now let us make a relationship out of all the data given over here. Now the finance plan has been broken down into three parts, which is sum of a deposit plus 47 equal monthly payments of $330, which means for 47 months he is going to pay $330 and a final payment which is $11,490. So total amount becomes sum of all the three payment methods. Now total amount he has already paid, that is using this finance plan, Adi pays a total of $31,900 for the car. So here the total amount paid by him is $31,900 is equal to the deposit is not given over here so we do not know what deposit he is going to make plus monthly payment plan is going to be 47 months he is going to pay $330 so it's going to be 47 times 330 plus the final payment is given as $11,490 now simplifying this we get $31,900 is equal to deposit plus now sum of these two is going to give us let's see how much it is so this is going to give us 27,000 as written over here. Now in the next step, we are going to send to 27,000 on the other side of equal to sign. So deposit will be equal to 31,900 minus 27,000. Now we got the deposit amount as 
$4,900 after subtracting these two values. But here in the question they have asked us to calculate deposit paid as a percentage of $28,000. So we have, since it is asked as a percentage of $28,000, we are going to write deposit over the amount that is $28,000 times 100. So deposit, we got it as $4,900. So 4,900 over 28,000 times 100. So this is going to give us the value as 35 over 2 or as a decimal 17.5%. So here we have written deposit paid as a percentage of 28,000 is 17.5%. Now moving on to the next sub question. A car travels 64 km and uses 2.5 liters of fuel. It then travels 128 kilometers and uses 6 liters of fuel. Calculate the rate at which the car uses fuel during the whole journey. Give your answer in liters per 100 kilometer. So let us make a relationship again over here. So here we have considered the total distance and total fuel used. Now for the total distance we have added the distance traveled by the car that is 64 plus 128 kilometers. That is going to give us 192 kilometers and to travel a total distance of 192 kilometers the total fuel used is going to be 2.5 plus 6 so that has given us the value as 8.5 liters now to travel 192 kilometers the fuel used by the car is 8.5 liters then we have to find out how many liters were used per 100 kilometer so here we have written then for total distance of 100 kilometer how much total fuel will be used. Now we are going to make use of the cross multiplication method. So here we are going to just multiply the 100 with 8.5 and divide it by 192 to find out the rate at which the car used the fuel. So rate is equal to 100 times 8.5 divided by 192. Let us see what value this gives us. So this will give us the rate as 425 over 96 or in decimals 4.427 I'm going to round it to two decimal places so the answer becomes 4.43 liters. So this much amount of fuel was used per 100 kilometer. Now moving on to the last sub question. At the start of 2021 the value of the car was $46,500. At the end of 2021 the value of the car was 20% less. At the end of 2022 the value of the car was 15% less than its value at the end of 2021. Calculate the value of the car at the end of 2022. So here it is given that at the start of 2021, the value of the car was $46,500. Now at the end of 2021, the value of the car depreciated or reduced by 20%. So at the beginning of 2021, the amount of the car was given as 46,500. Now by the end of 2021, the value has depreciated by 20%. So it becomes 46,500 minus 20% of $46,500. So by the end of 2021, we are going to get a value of the car as $37,200. Now in the next part of the question, it's given that at the end of 2022, the value of the car was 15% less than its value at the end of 2021. Which means at the beginning of 2022, the value of the car was $37,200. Now by the end of 2022, its value depreciated by 15%. So let me write here. So 37,200 minus 15% of 37,200. So the value of the car at the end of 2022 is going to be $31,620. So this is our answer. I hope you understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out these playlists where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.